What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another Transformers Movie 1 review. And this is probably going to be the last one for a little while. Not because I don't have any more, but because I'm going to take a break and do some other reviews. But um, as you can see, we have a little Transformers animated um, ad in the packaging there. But this is Stock Aid. This is Transformers Movie 1 All Spark Power Stock Aid. This came out when, uh, after. This is still the movie line, but it was later in the fall, and it was uh, about the same time when the premium line came out, maybe just right before that, probably the wave before that. But as you can see, Transformers, ages 5 and up, they used to be only 5 and up rather than the 8 and up that they became at Age of Extinction state, and uh, which means they finally recognized that. When they put it to eight and up, that means they finally recognize that adults are collecting these. That's their way of saying adults. These are adult toys. <laughs> they should say adult toys on them if they're adult toys, but they're also for kids as well. But anyways, so got Stockade Decepticon there. You got a little bit of a kind of a CGI drawing on the bottom, sort of. Decepticon it shows him in the package there. Looking at the back of him, we got Stockade, Lever Activates, Auto Punch act, Attack, sorry about that. Uh, we got the little bit of a tech specs here, we got Strength 8, Intelligence 4, Speed 4, Endurance 8, Rank 4, Courage 8, Fire Bus 5, and Skill 7. A couple other figures that are in the line, actually you know what, I never did get a Cliff Jumper. I don't have Cliff Jumper. So, not sure why I didn't get him, but I don't have him. I have Bumblebee, though. And I might have him, I just don't remember having him. How about that? I do have Camshaft. I pretty much have all of the movie toys. But I, I think I just didn't like Cliff Jumper. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. So, reading the bio, it says... Down to Earth by a Decepticon homing signal after the final battle for the Allspark, Stockade quickly hooked up with Starscream. He's content to follow orders from anyone as long as those orders involve kicking Autobot tailpipe. Back on Cybertron, he used to threaten neutrals into staying neutral and punish those who seem to have a problem with their audio receptors. There's more than enough Autobots on Earth to keep him busy. It shows the product image there and there's the SCV mode there and it shows the AllSpark so that is the packaging so without further ado let's get right into the review here he is out of the packaging and he comes with a instruction booklet of course but another reason why I one of the reasons I actually brought up the animated form in the packaging here is I absolutely loved this cartoon Transformers Animated. So, if anyone wants to see animated toy reviews, please leave a comment in the comment section below about that as a request. I am going to be getting to animated very soon. So, we'll just take a quick look at this form. This is the updated one after the Leader Class Optimus Prime was out. They still show the Leader Class Optimus, as you can see there. And it shows uh, the Voyager Starscream and Deluxe Class Jazz, as well as the Robot Replicas Barricade. I actually have Robot Replicas, but I haven't been able to find them for a while. I have pretty much all the first movie ones. But uh, we show Cyber Stomper Bumblebee there, and we got the Beat Mix Bumblebee, which I never got. I don't even know exactly what that is. I do have the Cyber Slammers Optimus. One thing I never also got was in the Revenge of the Fallen days, they had those those transformations that you just flip up and then they tra automatically transform. I can't remember what they called, but McDonald's uh, Japan did them as well. But also it shows the Ultimate Bumblebee, which I don't have. But I do have the Supreme Class Bumblebee from Revenge of the Fallen. But uh, it's just... And getting the lights into position here. This is the car. It's got the... S7 logo on the side there. This is basically made to mimic the car that uh, Optimus Prime stopped at the end of the movie that uh, they abducted Sam in. It's got some roof rack, kind of like ski racks or something up there. Got nice details, really good details on these movie one cars. 
Got pinned on wheels, and as you can see, the car rolls really freaking well. I love cars that roll well when they're supposed to. Nice details on the back. Got the not just one or two lights, it's got the entire light symbol he painted in the silver, too. You can see where the license plate would go. Dual exhaust. Got all the door handles painted in. And all of the windows, all eight of the windows are translucent plastic. Actually, it looks like nine because they used two halves for this. But that's just one window, so don't ignore what I just said. Oh, not actually, it is nine because they have the sunroof, and that is as well translucent plastic. So great job, Hasbro. It's got the vents here painted in silver, the rims painted in silver, and of course it has the front um, bumper here painted in silver. It's also got the lights in the front as translucent plastic. So freaking awesome job on the car mode there. He scales pretty well with Deluxe Bumblebee here. Not bad. I mean, he's a little bit out of scale probably, but but he looks good. He's he's bigger. He's not the same size, you know, and he definitely imposes a good scale there. Shorter, but he's also not the long Camaro version. But uh, very cool. Nice heft to him too. All right, so uh, getting him into transformation here. I haven't transformed this thing in a long time, but I think I remember. I showed you the rolls. All right, so to transform him, you want to crack this down like this. And one of the things about this figure, at least that I've never been able to, it doesn't really uh, advertise it either, is it, they're supposed to have automorph features, but this one I don't believe does. Maybe a sort of like one, like right here. So you pull this down like that. Then you take these and you kind of untab them right here. So that way you can flip these back. And they're on a double hinge. And if it's if it's pulling like it won't go, just make sure to remember it's on a double hinge. So push in or do something so that way it will continue to fold around. So you want to fold those back like that. And then you want to take this and you want to separate it right there. And then it will slide out. Like it slides. Let me show you what I mean. So when you're putting it back, you slide it in. It's got a sliding feature. Maybe that's what the automorph is. But you slide this out, then you pull these out. Then you extend that, extend that, pull this back, and pull that back. He's, look at this. He's even got articulated hands, which is cool. He's even got two sets of articulated fingers here. I mean, maybe they're all one. No, they're two. So you can have just the bottom move or just the top move so that's pretty cool so yeah articulated hands and of course back then they gave us swivels pretty much on all the hands uh, maybe not these ones but anyways uh, and then the last thing you want to do and this is kind of an arm work is you flip this back and the head pops up not really though and then you just get them situated here and then just elbows like that and then we flip this down and this is what I meant there's kind of an automorphing thing here going on so kind of flips the feet out and then you can the feet are a little bit loose they've always been that way but uh it's not bad because he, he definitely stands good the rest of them's tight he's got a waist swivel and he's got um, hips here that can go front and back Nicely done back and nicely done front. Uh, you can get out on the side, especially if you twist him. So do that. No thigh swivel or anything, but he does have some knees as well. So there's a little bit of bend on the knee. Get about from there to there. Not quite 90, but all in all, not bad. Uh, this thing moves around, so you can use it as heel support if you need to. And these heels constantly like to flip in, but he's got a little bit of a rock there. Not ankle tilt, but he does have front of back rock. Showed you the, the waist swivel. He's got a head swivel as well. Although I don't believe you can get it 360 or anything, no. Just kind of right from there to there. So, not bad.
And then his arms are on ball joints, so you can lift that out of the way and get his arm out like that. And then you can even bring it in as a butterfly joint. He's got a double jointed um, elbow here, but it doesn't really work like a double joint because it won't get past this lip right here. There's something in the way. It's like a block that's built there, but you could probably not. You could probably get it out and it would double joint as well. But you know, he definitely 90 degrees. And then he's oh yeah, that's his feature. And then he's got this feature where you pull these back and these go forward. So that's why he doesn't have wrist swivels. But most of them did have wrist swivels back then. And you can get him in a nice action pose here. And it, you know, and it is it's on the ball joint, so it will swivel enough where you can get him to get him looking like he has thigh swivels enough, I guess you could say. Oops. Let's get his arm out of the way. There. You know, he can pose around. So, definitely good there. You can move this out of the way as well. So, pretty cool. He's got this articulation right here, and as well, he can also do it in here. So he's got lots of articulation. Get his arm right across his shoulder. He can even do, like, fold his arms or whatever. So, pretty cool. Definitely a movie one figure. He's got the Allspark Blue that everyone was not very fond of back then. But he was an Allspark figure, that's why. He's got the Allspark Blue here, 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 and here on his thighs. He's got nice gray, dark plastic. Love these freaking old, the old school plastic, man. Look at that plastic. I mean, that's just awesome. No swirl effect to it. Nice, strong plastic. That that you know, when strong, when you have strong plastic, it holds on ball joints. But when you don't have strong plastic, like today's, it, the ball joints are all weak and floppy. Like this here is weaker plastic. You can tell by the way it's washed out. And look. But then you get the stronger stuff. And it holds. You can also swivel around like that. And you can also, I believe, oh, I thought you could put that in back, but looking at from the back of him, he's definitely good looking from the back as well. That's what he looks like closed, and then you can also pull these forward for arm articulation. And then to transform him back, really simple, you just pop this um, like that. Want to straighten his arms out like so and like so. Fold up his feet and his heels just like that, and then you fold up these into his feet into the um into the front of the car. Attach that by the pegs. There's a peg system there. And then you just pull up on this joint and on this joint, and then it. It's, it like has that secondary joint so it can come close together. Close these. Tab this into there. Just like that. And then fold these around on that double joint. Having everything into place as you do it. And once you tab everything together, which is that hard, it's got a couple of slots here and there. He's in perfect shape. Let me know what you think of the review and the figure. We'll do one quick comparison in robot mode. Here's what he looks like with Bone Crusher, who's also from Movie 1. And uh, he's kind of a short, stocky figure, like a kind of like a gorilla would be. And one other thing I just wanted to mention really quick. Uh, see the Bone Crusher review if you haven't already. But um, both of these arms, for one, both of these arms uh, do that. You pull it back and it... Both of them have this gimmick here where you can have kind of punch them. So that's pretty cool. And, you, and if you look at watch the movie, uh, some of the bots actually do have that feature where their arms extend like that. So they can punch. I can't remember what, what one it is. But also, um, he doesn't have thigh swivels, which is okay because you can mitigate some kind of swivel. And he has these, but he doesn't have... Um, bicep swivels either 
So that can become a small problem. But because he can actually twist in his arm, it's not too bad. Uh, he can't really do much on the twisting out. He can get it out a little. So just to show you. Alright, leave a like if you liked the video. If you got something to say, leave it in the comment section below. And subscribe for more. Stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace, that's a wrap. I'm out.